What's up, YouTube? It's me, Kenneth, the What's New Barbecue. Today we're making some beef chuck short ribs. I love me some beef chuck short ribs. If you've never made them before, I'm going to show you how to do it today and how to make them great. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscription button and that bell so you can keep track of this barbecue journey. We're rolling these beef chuck short ribs on the Oklahoma Joe. Anytime I get the chance to break out the OKJ, it's always a good time. Y'all stick around and we'll get right to these ribs. All right guys, and here we have our beef short ribs that we're gonna be working with today. I love making beef short ribs. We've got two packs of them, so what that means to me is we're gonna hit them with two different seasonings. The first one we're gonna hit these beef ribs with is the Young Bucks brisket rub. This is an awesome rub for beef, guys. Y'all have seen me use this on the channel before. And the second one we're gonna be using is one y'all have seen me use plenty of times as well, the Suckle Busters 1836 Barbecue Rub. This is some awesome stuff right here. Both of these rubs, information, the companies for their uh, products will be in the description box down below. Let's go ahead and get these beef short ribs out of the package. All right guys, and now that we got these beef chuck short ribs out on the cutting board, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put a light coat of some Worcestershire sauce on these beef ribs. Not a lot, it goes a long way. We're gonna use this as a binder. Just a few drips each, each uh, rib there. And then I'll rub it around and make sure we get coverage on all surfaces so our seasoning really sticks well. I love using Worcestershire on beef. It really enhances that beef flavor. Now we're gonna go ahead and just rub that Worcestershire sauce all over these ribs so our seasoning is gonna stick well. Right there, just like that. Make sure we uh, use the same hand so we can keep a clean one for seasoning. There we go, it doesn't take a whole lot of uh, Worcestershire sauce, like I said. That's all good. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit these ribs um, half and half. Let's see, we've got eight, so we'll do four of each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So these four right here will get the Young Bucks brisket rub. Go ahead and uh, season them up with a good amount. We'll make sure we get all over. Got the Oklahoma Joe getting fired up right now, rolling with hickory wood. And we're gonna be wanting to shoot for a temperature around 260, 270 for these beef chuck short ribs. Make sure we get seasoning all over there. If you haven't made beef chuck short ribs, it's a really good way to uh, kind of hone in some skills on uh, beef ribs without having to spend that big dollar amount and worry if you'll uh, turn them out good or not. So these are a good, uh, good go-to. So now that we got those seasoned up right there, we're gonna hit the other four with the 1836 barbecue rub from Suckle Busters. Go ahead and uh, put a good amount of this on here as well, on all sides. By the time we get these seasoned and let them set for about five minutes so it can really uh, sweat in a little bit, Oklahoma Joe should be ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish seasoning and I'll meet y'all at the smoker. What's up guys? We got about an hour until we check on these beef chuck short ribs. And you can see that Oklahoma Joe is rolling strong. We got that hickory wood going good. It's smelling awesome out here. While we're waiting, guys, I wanted to go ahead and give y'all the opportunity to find out about the new YouTube channel that I started. It's called North Texas Barbecue Addicts. If y'all have been a part of that barbecue community on Facebook, y'all know it's an awesome barbecue community. And now we're bringing it to YouTube. I'd love it if you'd go over there, give it a subscription, hit that bell down below there as well and keep track of this barbecue journey that goes on on North Texas Barbecue Addicts. All right, guys, like I said, we've got an hour until we check these ribs. I'll catch back up with y'all here in a little bit. All 
All right, guys, we've been rolling right around 270, 300 range in this entire cook. Like I said, going for about two hours now. Uh, let's go ahead and get this open. It smells awesome. This bark's setting in really well. Um, not all the way set yet, but it's looking great. We're going to go ahead and squirt these ribs down with just a little bit of apple cider vinegar and water mixture. Beef chuck short ribs naturally want to kind of try and dry up, so it's good to hit them with that apple cider vinegar and water. Help that fat break down and just really render these beef ribs well. Let me go ahead and pull you in closer. That's what they're looking like right there, guys. Look at that. Got a nice shine on them. Still got nice texture from the seasoning. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and set up a station to wrap them up in. And I'll catch right back up with y'all. Alright guys, we got these beef chuck short ribs in their foil packet. Y'all saw we hit that with the apple cider vinegar and water mixture before we wrapped them up. We're literally just going to shut the Oklahoma Joe down and let it run for about an hour or more. And I'll update y'all and we'll take a peek at them and see what the tenderness is looking like and go from there. Alright guys, it's been an hour later and this is what they're looking like in here. They're starting to get pretty tender. But not quite there just yet. What I'm going to do is go ahead and add a little bit more of our apple cider vinegar and water mix into our packet here. And I'm going to shut it back down and let it go for about an hour more. Look at that pullback in the color. And I'll check back with y'all here in about an hour like I said and see how they're looking. Alright guys, these beef chuck short ribs have been rolling for another hour since last time we updated y'all. And this is what they're looking like right here. Got a nice bark on them, looking really juicy. Show y'all another one too. Real impressed with the way the color is and the texture on the bark. I'm going to go ahead and get the camera situated and give y'all a taste test. Alright guys, y'all saw the way those beef chuck short ribs turned out. Look at the bark guys. Glistening, got a nice texture on it, nice color. Smells awesome, good pullback. Let's give it a taste. Man. Wow. Cheers y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. I'm not sure if you can make that smoke ring out or not. But look at the juices, guys. Golly. I'm going to take another bite. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish this rib and probably grab another one. I appreciate y'all for stopping by What's New Barbecue. Until next time, y'all keep on barbecuing.